<laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to the set. This is CJ's first cooking show. I am CJ. Behind the camera is Nate. Hello. This camera, it's E. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Buongiorno? He's the one who speaks, <laughs> the, what is it, the third, third best? best? I don't speak Italian. Like I said, third best. Welcome to the set, guys. Today, I'm gonna show you a really delicious recipe. Before I do, be sure to like and subscribe. You're gonna want to, especially if you like to cook and you like to quote and you like to ring a bell. You might not have a bell, but if you don't have one, you should. If you have a bell, ring it with us. Let's get to the recipe. I'm gonna show you guys a, a fun one. A sando. A oh, Shoe hymns. The Sammy Sam sandwich. I hate when you call it a Sammy. <laughs> so guys, I decided I wanted to do a French onion soup, but I couldn't do a French onion soup the way I wanted to. Stroke of genius, lightning struck my brain. Yeah. French onion chicken sandwich. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's ring it. And Let's bring, bring it. it. See you on the inside. So Okay, so I'm going to refer to cameraman number two, Ethan. <laughs> what do you think that we do starting off this recipe? Being as it's a French onion chicken sandwich. Camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera two. Is it onion? It is onion. We're gonna start with some delicious sweet yellow onions. Do you, um, does it have to be sweet? Uh, for this, yes. It does need to be sweet. What if I'm sweet enough? No, thank you, Turkish. I'm sweet enough. Uh, sweet onions are the way to play this game because if you've ever had French onion soup, that's a sugar, big part about it is the sugar, it, is the sugar in the soup that's really, really delicious. And yellow onions, as they caramelize and they start to break down, they just start to release some natural sugars and they're delicious and they're sweet and they're, and they're perfect and they're beautiful and they're Thank elegant, you. they're marvelous, <laughs> they're stunning. And they're chopped. And that too. Boomtown. Quick and easy, yellow onion peasy? You've gotten really fast at your knife skills. Thank you, thank you. I, I am impressive. Impressive. Most impressive. Um, this is the main factor of the game here. Low and slow Boom. with these onions because we are going to caramelize and get these suckers broke down. Uh, they're Jim gonna get- Broke them down. I'm gonna I'm break it down, y'all. Break it down. Oh 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 oh, 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 stop. Hammer time. Hammer time. Here's the name of the game with this one. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm going to toss these occasionally, um, but right now I'm going to go ahead and season these. Oh, you're seasoning now. I'm going to season now. Uh, okay. Salt specifically now because uh, salt does two things with our food. Number one, obviously it flavors makes it delicious and amazing. But number two, salt will actually pull the moisture out of the onions, helping our caramelization process, making them sweeter and more delicious. He delivered that just like I told you to. <laughs> <laughs> he shoots, he scores! We are good, the game's over! Now we just let this guy do its thing. We're talking 15, 20 minutes, like this is oh, yeah, a labor this is of a, love. This is a definite grab a drink, grab a bell, Hang out, get your buddies. It's uh, time to let those onions do their thing. So we'll be back in probably about 10, 10 to 15 minutes. All right. You ready to see some magic? It's so fast. Whoa! Look at that. Look what two onions did. Yeah, it shrunk. Shrunk. Honey, I shrunk the onions. Kerplunk. I went, honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> an 80s you movie. Kerplunk. An 80s game. So we were kind of on the. Dude. Oh. Dude. All right. Okay. Honestly, All right. You gotta. Uh. Um, let's get to our chicken. Let's season this bad boy up. The boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They've got the flavor where so it much is real estate. At. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna do a pretty simple seasoning at this first stage. Just gonna do some kosher salt and Boom. some coarse always kosher, black. Always kosher, please. Always, always, kosher. always. It, you, it's almost impossible to over salt um, with kosher. Chewy. It's almost too easy. Oh, dude, oh, it's got, there he is. Um, and it's a real fine seasoning, so it kind of creates, it's like a powder, almost. 
It's just really, really awesome. HDS, coming through. Package, Makes sense to just go ahead and crank this up. Yeah, and then shift. See, I meant to do that. Now, chicken thighs are gonna take a little longer than our chicken cutlets, obviously. There's more real estate, it's a little thicker, uh, but not too long. It's gonna give us enough time for our onions to keep reducing, mm -hmm. which I still really want to happen. They so actually are reducing in size. You mean shrink it? Yes! While that is cruising, Got a special sauce I'm gonna make. So what? The base of our nice. sauce is going to be some Duke's mayo. If you're gonna use mayo, it might as well be Duke's. Following our Duke's, we're gonna move on to some garlic powder. I've also got some balsamic glaze. You could make you could make your own you could make your own glaze if you really wanted to, but this is just an easy hack and it tastes really, really good. And then to my favorite, <laughs> unfavorite, Worcestershire. I'm gonna probably use um, a teaspoon. So do you just like? Ignore I it in your head. I just pretend like it's not happening. Not like For this. For the viewers that not like this. Home, there are anchovies. Delicious Don't tell them. Dude, I didn't want to ruin it for them. All right, and the last bit of love that I've got here some stone ground mustard. Dude, this is going to be a serious. This sauce. is a massive umami <laughs> flavor bomb going on right here. I'm going to add a little bit of coarse black pepper as Dang. well. This with the onions and the chicken coming? Yeah, this is gonna be good. Come like on. I said, when I started thinking about this French onion soup idea, things started marinating, things started changing. I don't know what to say, but you're welcome. Hmm. Like memory. It's okay if I say you're welcome. What can I say except you're welcome? Oh, I thought you went, mmm. Oh, <laughs> Ethan, try it. You love the sauces, try this. Verdict. Verdict. Oh, okay. Slimy yet okay. satisfying. Slimy yet satisfying. I'm gonna grab some more of my least favorite favorite <laughs> sauce. Least favorite favorite. I'm not gonna do too much. Okay. Also going to add a little sweet. some of this sweet balsamic glaze as well. I like it. Bro, these onions are going to dance on your palate. Dude, now that you put the balsamic, there is a decent amount of sugar. Are you going back into the Fraser zone? I, no, I'm actually I'm gonna let it just sit right here. Now we've got to get to the, the cheese, cheese or le cheese, le cheese, which is French for <laughs> le Renard. And she would be hunted with only her cunning to protect her. <laughs> okay. okay, let's acknowledge greatness when it shows Thanks. up unexpectedly. Now, Nay, I know you're watching. <laughs> this one's for you, girl. We're gonna um, fresh grated. We're gonna go ahead and just pop all this out. Yeah, we're gonna do some fresh grated. Gruyere. She is all about the fresh grated cheese. And honestly, I am too, but I love shortcuts. Okay, I think we've got a significant amount of cheese. Oh, dang. Boom. We're Hello, done. Hello, Gruyere. Now we're done. Now I'm gonna wait for my chicken to cook. It's gonna probably be like, what, three or four more minutes? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna slice it up and start building. So in the meantime. Bring it. <laughs> Let's bring it. All right. Gotta all do right. what I gotta do. So it's been about five or six minutes. Our chicken is officially at the done point. Or at least mostly. Well, it's, I think mostly it's- Mostly dead. Mostly dead. The big difference between mostly dead and all dead. Here's what I am gonna do. Before yeah. I put some cheese down, I'm gonna do just a light. Oh, you. A light little glaze. You drizzling. Dang, light okay. Ready for this? Ready for this. This is gonna be serious cheese. Yeah. Serious cheese. Ethan right. will finally get something to eat. Yeah, like I never feed him on the show. That <laughs> poor guy. Okay, that's not Dang. gonna take too long. That's dome it, dude. Okay. Instant cheesification. Meltification. Yeah, that too. I'm gonna. <laughs> that's what I said. Booby trap. Booby, booby trap. That's what I said. Booby trap. Clash. I said. I'm gonna put some feet, some water down right over here. I like it. And in the back. You can do this on any kind of roll you want, but. As I was dreaming about this delightful sandwich. Mm, soft baguette. Yeah. And I think that uh, we're gonna have like a piece so that's- not right in the middle. No, cause this- Oh, this is, this th is the not satisfying. This, this, uh, this is unsatisfying. <laughs> oh man, it hurts. Oh, so unsatisfactory. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm what gonna leave. Is, what is, all right, that's for you, eat. That's for you, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and cut this right down in the center. Do not go all the way. Uh, we wanna just, create a crevice, a canal. A crevasse. A crevasse. And then boom. boom. All Come right, on. so we got one and we got two and it's time to build. Let's go on in there. 
Dude, it's more space for sauce and Here, cheese. They, they've got all kinds of space. Look at all the space that we for, have for, for activities. activities. So Is much aerobics in here. So many activities. We're gonna go down with some sauce right over here. Dang. Oh, you can be generous with the sauce. Oh, dude. Both you sides? You tasted it earlier. It's good. Ethan, one side or two? Two. Come on, E. Jump in. You always answer for Ethan and never say it. one. Let's just do two. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. Let's go right here. If you've never made French onion soup, this is essentially what you're looking for. This, this is without the broth, obviously. The deep, dark colors. Sweet, savory goodness. Yeah. We're going to add a little, little, little greenery? bed. Greenery? Of some oh, baby arugula. arugula. Look at you. I know. All right, we're done. The reveal. Dang it. Oh. <laughs> that was so satisfying. That's good. How are you gonna get that over to your dog? Oh, that's not a problem. That's, oh, you it's sure? No, it's no problem. It's a piece of cake. It's a piece of crumb cake. It's so like no problem whatsoever. Piece of cake, piece of crumb cake. This one's yours, E. I'm coming over here. Come on. I'm tracking, following you. Go for tracking. it. What? Dude. Oh. oh. Dude, Dude. A little, little cheese skirt. Little touch on the corners. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Holy just, whoa. It's okay. gargantuan. Dude. It's huge. It's huge. This thing is Dude. like, uh, I'm glad that this one's for Ethan. Super tall. I mean, not like. Crazy tall. Not like Billy Corgan tall, but. Billy hey, Corgan. Speaking of smashing pumpkins, CJ, did you know? <laughs> that the Smashing Pumpkins first and last show were performed at the same venue. It was a four and a half hour long set consisting of 36 songs, and they actually gave out recordings of their first show at their last the show. World is a vampire. Wish I could have been at that show. Wow. That sounds really good. <laughs> he really, he's good. He's good. <laughs> he's good. <laughs> Dude, this has some weight to it. When you guys make this, you're gonna. I made it for Ethan, but I decided it looked way too pretty. Ooh. What? Oh. You can't okay. escape me. Yeah. Dude, all the colors, all the, like, I feel like I can taste it just knowing what went in. Oh my gosh, you just went full anaconda on that. Okay. I knew the sauce was going to be amazing. I knew the bread was going to be amazing. I knew the chicken and the cheese was going to be amazing. <laughs> I'm the best there is. That's all there is to it. Well, I'm the best there is. If you've had a good French onion soup, you know they serve it in that big bread bowl. Mm -hmm. With the Gruyere and the crouton. This is like that. It's just all in your hand and you don't eat it with a spoon. Why not a spoon, cousin? Because it's dull, you twit. It would hurt more. It's a decent impersonation, too. Was it? Because it's dull, you twit. It'll hurt more. At a level, decent, maybe. Decent? Leave it in the comments below. Speaking of comments, this is the time. Here it this is. This is the place. We've made it. We have now arrived. Here we are. For CJ's favorite comments of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. Welcome, ladies, welcome, gents, to the part of the episode where I read comments from you, the viewers. You get a platform, a platform. on CJ's first Indeed. cooking show. You write it. We read it. Them's the rules. Them's the rules, and this is how it goes. In no particular order, I read comments from you, the viewers. Uh, Describing your love and passion for the <laughs> or show or your the disdain and <laughs> hatred. This first one is from Fred. Hey, Fred. Sturza. I think that's how I say your name. Fred, I'm sorry. Drop dead, Fred, if I'm wrong. Yeah, drop Dude. dead. Dude. This would be good for the wine gala. Yeah, it looks like a big bruise. Fred. When's the last come time on. you watched Drop Dead Fred? Years. Golly, that's a good one. I would like uh, for you three folks to do a video every day. Oh. I only drink when you ring it and bring it. Wow. Once a week isn't enough. Would really like your videos released on Friday nights. LOL, great <laughs> stuff, thanks. I get it. Like, Fred, welcome to the show, After the buddy. Friday nights, you wanna sit back, relax, and have a few bells, and have a few laughs, and a little, you know. Side note, did you notice the second our cups touched, the bell rang? It's weird. It's a high cue. Is that like in our bell? I don't know. Or Let's in the try, cups? Try it again. What the? It was me. It was me! Okay, this is Cindy Cathers. Hey, Cindy. Uh, or Cathers, sorry if I'm saying it wrong, says, My little Grinch heart was so excited oh, that this recipe, about this recipe, and it totally made my day to hear CJ in the background. Oh, this is for my video. Definitely going to oh, make this Cindy. one. Thanks for being great, Nate. Hearts, thumbs up. Well, so let's, uh, let's, let's let the cups. 
That was a little preemptive there, guy. Sorry, You're getting a little excited. There we go. And he says he's a musician. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm sure he's trying to fix it. Freaking MacGyver over here. And an avocado you and like a corkscrew. All there right. We okay. We're back. Thank Can you. we continue? Wait, does it even work with the cup? Extra <laughs> Redemption. Oh man! Oh my God, you suck. <laughs> uh, this next one comes from Danny Marino. This one says, "That's one impressive looking hash there, fella. Nice work, Chef CJ. Ooh, Chef. Yes, thank now, you, Danny. Hey, that's a that's an earned title. Yeah." I know. You're no. <laughs> there was an R in there. And then she finishes with cook, eat, and please repeat. There she is! Give it up! Ethan, please be ready. <laughs> you! <laughs> you! <laughs> he did it. He ruined you. <laughs> All right, this next one comes in from a one Matt Mays. Matt Mays. He says, Wild Stallion! Shut up. Dude, that's it. Ring it and bring it. That, yep. It's it fixed. <laughs> it works. Uh, okay, let's bring it down. Okay. Let's bring it down. Shh, shh, everyone chill. Shh, 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 shh. Here we go. This is from Jetlag10. Oh, good name. Mm -hmm. Great yeah. recipe. Mm -hmm. But I could do without all the goofiness. Well, we can't. What goofiness specifically? Can yeah, you like, leave a comment on this video? Like a, like a goofy movie? Like, <laughs> yuck. Or like That's not what the Leaning mean. Tower of Cheesa. It's the Leaning Tower of Cheesa. I hear you. I validate you. I disagree with you. What's his name again? Jet like ten. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This last one comes in from Brad Smith. This is a great way to Brad. wrap this up. It says, "Made this tonight. It, it was an absolute hit." Dang. I too had a Nate. I quote Nate Patty. Yes, that's that little guy. Uh, but there was he no Patty left. No Patty left behind! He didn't say that. Yes, he did. The entire family ate like kings, and this will now be in the Blackstone recipe rotation. Grand Slam, <laughs> CJ Fraser. He's on fire! Thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching. Thanks for enjoying the recipe, which you will try and you will love. I promise you this. Truth. You'll love it. Hashtag. You'll love it. Um, definitely do that. And then also, uh, be, go, be sure to go to BlackstoneProducts.com. Be, be go. Be go to Betty's. We, we go. Show. Be go to Todd's show. Be go to Todd's show. Be, be go, go to, to Nate's show. But this is my show, and this is... Don't forget about Bruce and Destination Delicious. And Teespring. So many things to remember. <laughs> <laughs> so many things. Uh, but this is CJ's first cooking show where we cook. And we quote. And in the meantime... Engage. <laughs> Sayonara. Cheers. See ya. It's a Ghostbusters reference. <laughs> See you then.